or building out and moving large heavy cellulite prints. The projectionist also no longer has to spend time writing projectors, and instead all the work is now done at a computer. I'm going to show you how the digital process works. It's relatively simple compared to the film. Uh, here we have the hard drive that the movies get sent to, a, sent to us, and the uh, to download it to the projector, all you do is plug in a USB drive into here, and it, it downloads. Everything's done for you. Then, pull out this screen, and we have this screen's monitor, shows us what's playing on each screen. To edit our show, we go into this, and we can make a new project, we call it whatever, whatever the title of the movie is, and we also indicate whether it's flat or scope, the aspect ratio. So I'm just going to make a fake one. Everything that we have, uh, trailers and the movies, is just on this list. So we can go through and pull out what we want. So you just click and drag it over here. So we have a basic composition here. The real one would be a lot longer and have the feature and all the trailers and all the required ads and everything in it. Then we can add the cues into it to... Um, for starting the movie, for the lights to go down and uh, the different stuff, the speakers to come on and everything. So it asks you if you want to put it at the beginning or the end of the uh, whatever I dropped the cue into. So I just put it at the beginning. And then the last cue you want to put at the very end of the show to make the projector turn off and the pre-show advertisement come on and the, the audio to change. There is a learning curve on how to uh, do the computerized process, but it's a lot more simple and a lot less time consuming than doing it on film. And there tends to be a lot more mistakes that you can, there's a lot more chance for errors when you're doing film with the splices and making sure everything's in order and whatnot. Also, um, as new trailers come in and as movies that are, are in, movies that we have as trailers, once they become a feature, we have to take those trailers off. So the process of doing that here is a lot simpler because all you do is delete it off of there and then update it. So now that we have this show finished, I'm going to save it. We can save it to whatever screen that we want it to play on and to the local server here. So that's really all there is to it. It's simple, quick, and easy.